But I think that there's a deeper question here about what type of Democrat I'm going to be when I'm elected to Congress. And I'm not going to be the type of Democrat who's going to be a Democrat. I'll be the first one in line ready to work on the slip up. The first one in line. Dan Donovan, who could, did not have the courage to show up today, took $10,000 from Purdue executives, the very people who developed OxyContin, misbranded it, the drug that was flooded our streets, killed our children, killed our neighbors, killed our colleagues, and I promise you as your next member of Congress, I'm gonna put my foot So down. that's Max Rose, Max Rose, who the hell is Max Rose? I'm gonna dive in a little bit to um, local politics for a second. This is, um, this is an interesting uh, uh, race, and it has national ramifications, so it's not just a local you know, a local guy running for office. This is Max Rose challenging in Congressional uh, 11 here in Brooklyn uh, for the House of Representatives, one of 400, uh, 435 House of Representatives in the United States. And he's challenging the Republican, the good Dan Donovan, who is the sitting um, congressman right now. Donovan is the Republican. He's endorsed by Trump. Trump has throwing his hat in the ring for Dan Donovan. So this is, so here's the Democrat making a run, right? He's making a, it's challenging. He's pushing him from the left, right? He's a corporatist. He took a million dollars. We found this out. He took a million dollars from outside, outside of the district. And it turns out that his, his primary focus is uh, big pharma, right? He works in the, he works in the big pharma industry, right? And he refuses to sign on to single payer universal health care for all. So, here you see a, see them in a in a senior center, right? Senior center, elderly people, right? Anybody over the age of sixty five, right? Is if they get SSI or SSD, if that's all they have, right? And they get that seven hundred fifty dollars a month, right? A guy like this refuses to to open the spigot and allow single payer universal health care for all, where everybody is covered, right? Instead. Seniors, while he's in the senior center, he's saying that he's not saying it, but he's avoiding the question. Right? I, I pound him in, in a second. You're going to see it. I get right up in his face. That's it's fun to watch. Right. And I, I shouted out a few things uh, at him about single payer and he just he ignored it. So but that's coming. Stand by. It's pretty good. So. Uh, so anyway, it's not it's not much of a it's not much of a big deal. But I think the point here is that this is how we're supposed to. This is how we're supposed to address these politicians that say one thing in the public. This guy's not even saying it. This guy's saying no way, single payer health care. They, they're gonna. He's he's all for big pharma. He's all for the five hundred thousand people in the in the uh, pharmaceutical industrial complex. Keep their jobs. Keep the insurance companies together. Keep it just the way it is. We're making a lot of money. Keep it all just the way it is. Don't change anything. Give me the money. All right, so let, let's see. Um, Let's see how he, he he let's see how he handles. He's he's in. You saw him in in uh, in there bashing the, his opponent Dan Donovan, who didn't show up, right? And there's also another guy sitting down. That's the Green Party candidate. His name is uh, Henry Bardell. I interview him at the end because he's the only real character in the room, right? He's the only guy. He's the only real candidate in the room. But his chances of beating Donovan are slim to none, maybe. So let's just watch, let's watch the, the, the powerful Max Rose, Max Rose, the army guy, the army guy can't even, he dodges bullets, but he, he do, and he, you know, he's, he's all about dodging bullets, but he, he can't answer a question. So he has the Max. No, 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 no. Max, how about it? Single payer healthcare? <laughs> <laughs> no? Why not, Max? It's a good idea, no? Yeah, let, him, let him say how to people. Maybe all the people, hey, get out of the way. All the people, what are you, a handler? No, I'm just thinking, let him handler? talk to people. Do you work for Max? Dude, dude, listen. I'm asking hey, a question. Hey, 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 hey. hey, I'm asking a question. Hey, I'm asking a question. Hey, Max, you're running away from me. Single payer, you're in, a, you're in an old age home, and people need their health care. Max, why are you running away from me? He's answered all your questions. He's answered them before us. He hasn't answered a single question. <laughs> he takes no, a million dollars in pack money from Big Pharma. He's in the pocket with Big Pharma. Max Rose, Big Pharma. How? Ah, Max Rose. Max Rose. 
I'm gonna charge you for your health care. Pay till you die. Pay till you die. Big Pharma. That's the Big Pharma man right there. Max Big Pharma Rose. Max Big Pharma Rose. Here's Marcus Conklin reporting. So there you go. I pushed up on him, right? He's 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 surrounded by his handlers, right? All like you know, twenty something year old male, white, tall, pushy, right? That guy got in my way. I said, get out of my way. <laughs> I'm asking the candidate a question. I'm asking the candidate a question. Get out of the way. <laughs> but you see how how much of a he's really a coward. He smiled. He gave me the thumbs up. Oh, yeah. yeah, but you're you're fucking phony, man. You're a phony. You're you're all about big pharma. Answer the question. Walk, you're, you're talking about your candidate, your candidate, the other the, the candidate isn't here, Dan Donovan, but you're afraid to answer a goddamn question. You're Mr. Army Boy. Oh, Mr. Tough Army Boy. You can't answer a question on single payer health care. Address the people. Talk to the people. Why, Max? Why won't you why won't you agree to universal single payer health care? Because you're on the take. You take that money. You're already taking the money. You're a phony. You are a phony. All right. So, uh, so as I said, then um, I, I I got uh, Henry Bardell, who was who's also sitting down. He's the Green can the Green Party candidate, and him and I have a wonderful talk outside in front of the American flag. So, uh, so enjoy it. You know, it's uh, it's it's good. I I also say to myself, I say, you know what. If you put me in the ring with these guys, right? If I could get on a ticket, right? Not just a write-in, but I get on a ticket, I will smoke these guys. I will chew them up and spit them out. So keep keep in mind, Max, 2020, if you're still there, if you're even there, I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. So enjoy this interview. This is a great interview with uh, Henry Bardell of the Green Party. Peace out. So uh, Marcus Conti reporting. We're down here in uh, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and we just got to hear some of the senatorial candidate i'm sorry house of representatives candidates and we've got uh, we heard from max rose we heard we uh dan donovan was a no-show right it's no show he didn't show up right? right and i'm here with the green party candidate what's your name i i'm sorry i'm very <laughs> henry bardell or hank bardell this is hank bardell from the green party for what district are we in again what uh, uh the 11 uh, New York 11 Congressional District. New York 11 District. Okay, so, so uh, I was inside and I heard I heard Max Rose talk about. Um, I asked him about single payer universal health care. Seventy percent of the state wants it. Seventy percent of the country wants it. Max Rose running in the Democratic Party. He doesn't want it. What do you say to that? Well, I, I, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah. You know, the United States is the only uh, industrial country in the world that doesn't have s some kind of single-payer uh, health care system. The only industrial country in the world. It, what does that mean? We need it. It's uh, We're supposed to have it. Uh, there's insufficient... Uh, amount of health care being given to the people of the United States. I hear you. I heard that, man. So, well, what do you, what about, I see, you know, the other, the other game is that they play is they say, okay, well, Medicare, we support Medicare. And then what they do is they take people like, we're in a senior center right now, and they take people over 65 and they start to co-pay because they have income. They got $700 SSI, SSD. And then they start tagging on, uh, uh, um, you know, copay, and suck away that seven eight hundred dollars. That's a big, that's the new Democratic uh, Party game, right? Let's see, we're not even talking about Donovan because the Republican Party refuses to even acknowledge the idea of single payer health care. But what about this business of fudging the numbers, the Medicare numbers, and forcing um, seniors to pay more, pay copays out of their pocket? Well, I, I think that is bad. Uh, you know, we're the richest country in the world, and we we have to uh, 
one of the ways that we can show that we're the richest country in the world is to have good health care. Uh, I'm a senior, and uh, I belong to one of these uh, medical groups, and I also pay uh, copay. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I'm now paying thirty dollars. You know, when I was uh, a boy, uh, healthcare. You know, when I went to see a doctor. It used to cost my parents two dollars. Now that's thirty dollars for, for copay. Uh, we could do better in the United States. There's people with uh, no health care. There's people with uh, 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 you know a poor health care. Uh, we 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 have to have. Good health care for everybody, so everybody could. The flag is hitting us. Is it? Flag is speaking out. You heard it? Yeah. She's saying good stuff. Okay, so, so that's my idea. Everybody should have good okay. health care. All right, so so States. so let's go one step further. You're surrounded by Democrats and Republicans that say, "Oh, it's socialism." You're a socialist. You're not. You're not an American. You're, you're a socialist. You don't. You want social. You want to make socialism. In America, uh, uh, you, you know, and what do you do? You gotta, you know, you gotta flip over the de desk. Cause there's no, there's no nice, nice to get this done because they're not hearing it. They got big farming in their pocket, like Mr. Mr. Rose. What, do, what, how do we, how do we get it done? Well, uh, we have to educate ourselves. Uh, we're entitled. We live in the United States, it's the richest country in the world. We're entitled to good health care. Uh, so we just keep speaking about it? We get in there and you get in there and you keep talking about it. Like Bernie Sanders. That's right. You gotta get out there and like Jill Stein. educate educate people that this is some, a right in the United States. It's not a privilege. Voting is a United is a is a right in the United States. Healthcare is a is a right in the United effect. States. Damn right. All right, man. So I wish you I wish you all the best. Um, you know, it's now, a, yeah. Can what I say something? Yeah, please. You can say whatever you want. That's your time. My main. I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> my main thing is that if this is the richest country in the world. Why don't we all live very well? And the, and the way to do it is the way they did it in, in 1942 to 1963. FDR's New Deal. Well, FDR and it and the, well, that was before him. I'm sorry, I the New you. Deal Democrats. Yeah. We we were taxing the wealthy at 90 percent. That's where the money is, and and that's where we have to go. But you, let me. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but a lot of people, when you say raise their taxes, they think you're talking about them, the 99 percent of the people. You're talking about the one the one percent, not everybody, because people get nervous when you say, "Oh shit, this guy's going to raise my tax." But but you're talking 1%, about percent. I'm trying to I'm and trying the to corporations, the court raise the corporate tax rate. Not not not, not only corporations, but. The, the, Super the wealthy. Percent, the one percent. The wealthy, Koch brothers. Uh, 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 those guys, right? Right. Right. So the multi. What about what about actually? Billionaires. What about actually? Once we get the money out of their pockets, we could also possibly reduce regular people's income tax. Because that's you're right. You're one hundred percent right. The money, the money is in the in the pockets of the the one percent. They, we own, jack they own 35 to 40 percent of the wealth in the United States. It's a it's a disgrace, right. uh, and it, and it's a burden on people all over the United States. And we we have to recognize we have to do something about it. You know you know I'm sure you know, but one there's one out of seven people on food stamps in America. A 80 percent of the country I find this fascinating. 80 percent of the country lives lives paycheck to paycheck. And that's only if they have a job. And this is staggering too. 65% of the country 
doesn't have $400 to their name. That's where we are right now. That's where these politicians are leading us. Yeah. Oh, Staggering. We, we, we have to educate ourselves. We have to be aware that we deserve better in the United States because the working class is making a, a wonderful society. Not, not the, uh, the rich 1% on the top are relaxing in their, uh, uh, you know, in their great buildings. It's really good talking, man. My joystick's getting a little crazy. <laughs> All right. So what's uh, well, just uh, you know, let's close the same. And just how can we find you if people want to? I know the Green Party, uh, Green Party well, ticket. But... A... Well, just give it a plug. It plug your plug your website. You got a website? Yes. Look for Henry Bardell for Congress. Uh, 11th Congressional District, uh, New York State. Wow. Thanks. I have a website. Cool. Thank you so much for your time, man. Hold on.